Hello and welcome to part 2F of my Blender's Unity Tower Defense game tutorial. In this part we'll very very quickly go through and texture the terrain that we created back in section 1i. It's not going to be very difficult, we're just going to create a very simple uh, overall terrain. We'll tile that out, add a little path, maybe a little decal on the side, just so just to get us started. Like I say, this is only a prototype so we're not trying to uh, you know, break the mold here in terms of what we're going to design. So let's get started. We just go to File New, we can just discard the changes on this one. Let's find our Tower Defense model, which is under, so we saved under Terrain, Terrain 04 I call mine. Let's save that up, make sure it's OK, yep, we'll click OK there. Wait a few seconds and there it is, OK, it doesn't look great at the moment, it looks a little bit lumpy, you can see a few edges, but that's fine, this is pretty good. Let's uh, begin baking stuff out, so we'll do the usual, we'll bake our textures set the output size to 1024 by 1024 and the anti-aliasing to 2x2. Two two. I won't, uh, I, I would like to do 4x4 uh, four four or 8x8 eight eight, but uh, I'm conscious that uh, you know that would take time and uh, my current screen capture tool does not have a pause button. I'm going to upgrade shortly to X split I think and then uh, that'll allow me to pause it and then I can come back and you know do you know what if anything happens like the phone rings or whatever I'm having to start restart a few videos of late because something will happen the doorbell will ring or the phone will ring and I'll have to start the whole thing again I really can't be bothered to uh, well probably I should be bothered to edit it and you know trim it up later but I, I seem to end up just starting again so it's nearly there just doing the thickness map and it's finished okay we've got ourselves our texture what we'll do just to start us off is we'll get rid of the initial layer and we'll create ourselves a fill layer and in there if we go to our moon textures now I can't remember exactly where I saved it let me quickly find it I'm pretty sure I saved it under um, uh, documents blender it's, it's moon there it is moon floor jack 2 so let's what we'll do is immediately let's just save this we'll save it in the same folder uh, documents tower defense models terrain and we'll just call it well, let's call it terrain 04 shall we you can call it what you like okay and now if I just bring back to here grab this here and just drag it into the textures folder moon floor jack 2 um, sorry I should just have a quick recap shouldn't I in case you weren't sure what I'm talking about uh, we went in, in one eye we went we looked at some seam, seamless moon textures and I picked this one the cuzimage.com one uh, you're welcome to pick one for yourself and play around with it uh, that's the one I went for so just pick, pick yourself a texture that you like the look of for your uh, it doesn't have to be a moon heck it could be anything right this is a this is your own game do what you like but I've gone for a moon texture like that one so let's just grab that and drag it straight into here and the option we're going to go is import to project terrain 04 okay so it'll only be to this project okay so in our fill layer we'll get rid of the metal rough normal and height actually we might we might go back to the rough in a moment let's find our base color and it was called moon something wasn't it so there can't be too many of them. Moon floor, there we go. Okay, it's off to a good start actually. It's uh, I think the reason for that is because it's done uh, a UV scale of three, and I think that looks pretty good, actually. Um, I got lucky with the tiling. Um, as you can see, it really has it really isn't noticeable. I think if I if, let me stick it up to like 64, then you can you can see you know obviously you can see them the pattern, but really. You know, it's a very good texture uh, in terms of the fact that it's seamless. So let's just bring that out to three. I'm going to go with three. Um, clearly, that's way too shiny. It's like this moon has got some sort of weird glassy effect. So let's quickly go to rough and drag that up so it's a bit rougher. Maybe a touch of shine, but not not much. Okay, good start, guys. Now what I will do now is I'll create the path. Uh, what we'll do for, to do that is we will. Um, Let's just name that base, shall we? Base. Oh, base settings. I'm always conscious that when you say base, it sounds like a moon base or something. What I'm trying to say is it's the base settings. I hope you guys know what I'm trying to get at. So let's create the path. Uh, we'll do that by creating a, a, a regular layer. Um, I am going to use, uh, let's just spin over here. Let's quickly pick the default hard brush. And that'll get rid of all of our jitters. And pick the alpha, that one there. Uh, the thing, the way I'm going to do this, if I go to viewer settings and do wireframe, you can see, well you can't see actually, but there's a, there's a 16 by 9, we'll do that in a second, we'll mark that out in a second. Um, it might be worth doing that first. Let's do that first, so let's 
very quickly create another fill layer and then we'll select the polygon fill uh, no we won't, we'll add a black mask and then we will um, polygon fill and we will click on that one, that one and let's just see if we can do it so we've got one two three four uh, see so we're already selecting ones I didn't want to no nope. like so let's just try and line this up so it's all shift click let's just drag oh, now I've gone the wrong way oh I'm sorry guys let's spin it back to white I think it's those ones there it's something like that isn't it so how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you can see it's those ones, can't you? Make 16. Yeah. And then 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, yes, yeah, so I think it's the top and bottom ones we need to get rid of. So let's just quickly do that. Let's do that. Let's get rid of those. And I knew it would do that back to white. I mean, you can individually select them I think, but I'm not gonna. There we go. Okay, good. That creates a a black uh, uh the area, the kind of the play area is what I'm calling it. In fact let's let's just even call this play area. Okay, and what I might do is very, very quickly add a, a paint well, add a paint generator layer to this and then quickly go into dirt one we've got it on white just select it over here okay um drag that down just to add a bit of blending have i gone oh uh, yeah that was weird it went backwards on me and i'll just zoom in zoom that down click shift click shift click shift click i might i have a feeling Sorry. Let's have a quick look at that. Have I messed up? No, that's okay. That's done everything. It's done in, no, it hasn't done in there. Let's just do in there as well, seeing as I've done it on the other side. There, like that. Okay, so that's kind of correct a little bit. So, what we'll do now under here is we'll go to our uh, materials and just pick painted steel or something. And then we'll lower the opacity of that right down. So, let's do that now. Uh, change it to linear dodge. No. Multiply. Yep. And then we'll just drag that right down, just so we can see that it's uh, like that. Nothing serious, just to show us where we're what we're dealing with. Uh, okay, good, good. What's this layer here? Uh, I don't know what that is. That, that was this was going to be the path, wasn't it? Which isn't there yet. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Um, it is a just a regular layer. Let's put it back on. The alpha's there. Let's do default soft. Drag the hardness up to something like. Let's just play. Uh, yeah, we want the alpha to be a square. There it is. What we can do now is I'll just alt shift click it into position and just size it up so that it's just a bit bigger than these squares. Look, I'm just gonna. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm happy with that. Um, that that's the color we've gone for. I'm gonna make the base color. Uh, something like pearly noise. I know you think I'm crazy. I'm not interested in metal rough normal, but I am interested in height. I want that to go down. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna. So now if I click. This is it. I'm gonna bring the hardness down a bit more. That looks better. So I want to start. I want to start about there, don't I? So let's just do this. Let's start there, and then we'll just shift, click, and drag there, up to there, something like this. You see what I'm doing here? I'm just copying it to the squares because I've gone for a negative height. Those squares slightly shorter, am I? Let's do one more, shall we? There and then there. Uh, to there. Let's do one there, down there. I'm just making this up, really. 
Uh, that's how we do. Yeah. Like that. Okay. The one thing that's bothering me early doors is that those colours are very similar. So let's um, sort that out. Let's put the path above it, shall we? There we go. It's better. So we've got our entrance and our exit. Not hugely happy with the the fill, but not hugely disappointed. Let's just change the. Let's just bang that through to linear dodge. Yeah, I like linear dodge a bit more. Uh, one of the things. Let's just get the two. Let's get it to two o four eight by two o four eight. Just have a better look at it. This might take a second. That's a bit clearer, isn't it? It's a bit crisper. Okay, so they're going to float off in there. I can see that's a bit higher, isn't it? Just a touch higher. Hmm, could be a problem. Um, not hugely happy with that path, but not huge. No, I'm not happy because no, I'm not happy. It's going to, have to start again. I will. Can I do that now? No. Okay, so let's just click on there to there to there. How? Mm, hang on. Do this to me. There we go. Okay, now I'll click from there over to there. Let's go a bit. Let's go to there. To there. To there. To there. I'm just making this up, as you can probably tell. To there. And can you see that it's actually got a little bit of height information? Again, I need to swap that path around, don't I, so that it shows up a bit better. There we go. Okay. This isn't brilliant, I've got to say. I'm 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 not let's just get the play area as well and do that multiply down a bit as well. Yeah. Okay. It's alright. You can design your own path. Feel um one thing I will do is I'm just gonna smooth off these edges and the way to do that excuse me, is to um go back into the path here, click on the erase tool, and then we can just start uh zoom that right down and just trim off those edges. And if you don't get it right just control Z and see what I'm doing there, I'm just, just clicking and gently dragging it around. It doesn't have to be great, just enough to there we go. Make it look like a corner has been rounded off a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, you. Is that all the corners? And the other thing is we should add them into these corners, so let's do that. Uh, so to do that, we go back to here, which I think is already in place. We'll zoom that right down. And just drag them in like that. Uh, yeah. Here we go, you see. Just pulling those in. I think I might have make it a bit bigger. That didn't work. That definitely didn't work. Uh, you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of just pulling these in. Nope. Yes. No. Oh, I don't mind. That's okay. Da, da, da. That looks alright, looks alright. Put one in there. Not like that. No one there, look, you can see there's one needed there. Okay. I think we're done. I was going to. I put those chevrons on last time, I didn't particularly like them. I'll put them on just for. Um, just for the sake of it. <laughs> um, we'll call this chevrons or stripes. Let's call it stripes, and then we can be a bit clearer, then, won't it? Uh, there's no alpha. Um, we'll get rid of the purling noise. The base color is stripes. Can I type stripes? Oh, no. Excuse me, guys. I'm just trying to find it. It's big as with this. There it is. Stripes. There's no height. It's just color. I'll just drag, make it about that size of the square, and just sort of shift and click and drag. 
like that, and then do the same over the other side. Which one was it? It was the one just above that one. So let's try this one. It's got an extra square, or has it? Yeah, blast. What is it? Or are you just going mad? Trouble you get faffing there. There, I don't care. That's how it's going to look. Okay, like I say, we'll be zooming in most of the time. It'll run across this here. I wish I hadn't done that purling noise. It looks okay. It looks okay. Um, let's just make it 2048 by 2048 again. We can look a lot better then. Yeah, it looks a bit better, doesn't it? Um, what I might do actually on the path is just change that normal down as well. I'll, I'll make that um, multiply linear dodge. There we go. I'll make it linear dodge and then drag that down. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit tidier. There we go. See, just by playing around a bit, you've got a much better looking path straight away. Okay, so our little aliens are going to go around up and down, zoom around there. We can just about squeeze a turret in there, look. And away we go. Okay, that is actually a wrap for this. We've we've, we've flown so quickly through the um, tutorial. I am immediately seeing that that one's lower. I may go and change that later on. You can see that that's probably meant, that one, this one here is probably meant to be a row, column, whatever you call it, lower. Uh, so I might go and fix that later on. Um, the aliens will roll through there and they'll, they'll start over there. Lovely. Alright guys, so I'm just going to save that. Let's save this up. Uh, terrain 04, all done. And I think we're done. That was good. And thank you very, very much. That was very, very quick. Um, intentionally so, because we're not going to be uh, making a big deal of this terrain. Let's just turn off the uh, wireframe, just have a look at it. Um, it's just, like I say, just a prototype just to make sure it looks okay and we've got something to work with when we get into Unity. Thanks for listening. See you next time.